Alright guys, I'm back with another video and I just had a major breakthrough right here in my understanding of one of these nodes that's had me confused for a while now. So I'm working on recreating uh, this for you guys uh, and I'm going to do the foot locking. I mostly am doing this because I need the turn in place in order to uh, do the foot locking. And I couldn't figure out why he wasn't synced properly with this, so I'll just go ahead and show you uh, why here real quick. Let me find it. So, by default, the modify curve is set to blend, and I'll explain to you what's going on here in just a second. So you see, this is what it was doing to me. And I was totally confused. I was like, what's going on? Finally, I, I disconnected the modify curve just out of curiosity and it started working so let me explain to you why this confused me so you have a modify curve it modifies the rotation amount now these uh, rotation amounts are uh, set to various things uh, mostly for the turn in place and I think the transitions do and you'll see you have a rotation amount curve now that curve uh, they use a, a calculate rotate rotation amount mod uh, mod animation modifier to uh, create these curves uh, and it's just an automated system and basically it's it's just uh, calculating uh, the or well, it's mapping the root motion uh, to a curve is what it's doing uh, of the rotation the root motion of the rotation to a curve so I was wondering I was like why are they modifying the rotation amount of this animation if it already has a rotation uh, curve um, uh, set up on it? And for, to me, at the time, it didn't make any sense why they were doing that. As you can see here, right, right here, it, it appeared to me as though they were overriding this with a rotation scale. And so if we come over here, you'll see that my simplified version of of this makes it a little bit clearer and what they're doing is they're getting the turn angle and they're dividing it uh, or they're getting the turn angle of the uh, rotation uh, of the angle between the rotation and the actor and they're dividing that by the target rotation for these animations negative 90 90, negative 180, 180. And then they're multiplying it by the play rate to scale it up. So that's what was confusing me. I, I thought that they were uh, actually changing the values of this. And they are in a way, but not like I thought they were. They're actually scaling it. So when you select the modify curve, you can actually set it to the apply mode from blend to scale and it'll have a totally different effect on how this value modifies that curve so yeah so you can add you can add values to the existing value of the curve you can scale it you can blend a value with the value uh, that's currently on the curve at that particular moment uh, you can do a weighted moving average and you can remap curve. So I just thought I'd show, share that with you guys because, uh, yeah, that I couldn't figure out what that was for, what it was doing whenever I was going through here trying to figure stuff out. 